Welcome back to our second video in the series on the American military. Today we will be focusing on the Army of the United States. Every date and moment of Army history presented to you today was compiled from the U.S. Army's website. These have been condensed for time, but we do invite you to do your own research on these items if anything catches your interest. And remember, we are an Army Museum, so we'll try to keep our videos fair. On the 14th of June, 1775, the Continental Congress votes to raise 10 companies of riflemen in Pennsylvania, Maryland, and Virginia. This was the effective birth of the United States Army. The following day, George Washington was appointed Commander-in-Chief of the Continental Army. The following year, 1776, saw the creation of a Board of War and Ordinance by Congress. This was the ancestor of the War Department. Also in 1776, the Battle of New York, and Washington and his armies cross the Delaware and defeat the Hessian garrison at Trenton. The year 1777 saw the Battle of Brandywine and the British surrender at Saratoga. Also, the Army received its first real military training at Valley Forge. 1781 saw the Battle of Cowpens and Lord Cornwallis surrendered at Yorktown. In September of 1787, the U.S. Constitution, which specifically provided that the President should be Commander-in-Chief of the Army and Navy, is adopted and signed. On the 7th of August, 1789, Congress established the Department of War. On the 16th of March, 1802, Congress authorized the creation of a Corps of Engineers and a military academy under its control at West Point, New York. In 1803 to 1806, the Lewis and Clark expedition took place. This was the first expedition to cross the western portion of the United States. From the 18th of June, 1812 to the 24th of December, 1814, was the War of 1812. This was America's second war with Great Britain over restrictions to trade and other terms unsettled from the Revolution. The 13th and 14th of September, 1814, the British failed to capture Baltimore Harbor when Fort McHenry withstood naval bombardment. January of 1815 saw the Battle of New Orleans and also British forces being repulsed at Chalmette Plantation by American troops under the command of Andrew Jackson. Jackson would later become America's seventh president. The First and Second Seminole Wars took place between 1817 and 1842. In May of 1846 and through February of 1848, America was involved with a war with Mexico. This is important for the battles of Palo Alto, the landing of American troops at Veracruz, and battles around Mexico City that resulted in the defeat of the Mexican army and capture of the capital. On the 12th of April, 1861, Confederate batteries bombarded Fort Sumner in Charleston Harbor. The Civil War had begun. On the 15th of April, 1861, President Lincoln calls for 75,000 volunteers to augment the reduced regular army. And by July, the first Battle of Bull Run is fought. 1862 saw the Peninsula Campaign ending outside of Richmond with the U.S. forces under McClellan defeated by Confederate forces under Robert E. Lee. The battles of Shiloh, Antietam, and Fredericksburg were also fought in 1862. The year 1863 saw Congress pass the Enrollment Act, which established national conscription. Also, the battles of Gettysburg and Chickamauga took place, as well as the city of Vicksburg, Mississippi, surrendering to the Union. In 1864, Grant is promoted to Lieutenant General and appointed as General-in-Chief of the Union Armies. Sherman's Atlanta campaign is successful in capturing the city of Atlanta, and Grant and Lee fight again at the Siege of Petersburg. In 1864 was also Sherman's March to the Sea and the Battles of Franklin, Tennessee and Nashville. On the 9th of April, 1865, Robert E. Lee surrendered to Grant at Appomattox Courthouse. From 1862 through 1890, the Army engaged in an almost continuous series of campaigns and battles 
with Native American tribes on the western frontier. During this time, the battles for Little Bighorn and Wounded Knee had taken place. From April through August of 1898, the Spanish-American War took place, followed closely in 1899 to 1902 by the American-Filipino War. The conflict arose when the First Philippine Republic objected to the terms of the Treaty of Paris under which the United States took possession of the Philippines from Spain ending the Spanish-American War. In November of 1901, Secretary of War Elihu Root directed that the Army War College be established. On the 6th of April 1917, Congress declares war on Germany. The Great War, later called World War I, has begun. On the 18th of May 1917, Selective Service Act passes, initiating the first draft since the Civil War. American forces participated in the Second Battle of the Marne. And in 1918, American expeditionary for forces fight the first independent action in World War I. On the 11th of November 1918, the armistice ending the fighting on the Western Front was signed. On 16 September 1940, President Roosevelt signs the first peacetime selective service and training law. On the 8th of December 1941, U.S. declares war on Japan following the attack on Pearl Harbor. World War II has begun. In 1942, the U.S. forces in the Philippines have to surrender to the Japanese. They also work on Operation Torch and... Allied forces land in Morocco and Algeria. From 1942 to 1943, Guadalcanal Campaign and Berna and the New Guinea Campaign take place in the Pacific. In 1903, Americans and British forces land on Sicily, and they also land in Italy. On the 6th of June, 1944, D-Day landings take place in Normandy, France. On 15 June 1944, American landings on Saipan and also landings in the Philippines. On the 16th of December 1944 through the 25th of January 1945, the Battle of the Bulge takes place in Belgium. These dates are also important for our 12th family as we at the 12th know that the Battle of Herlesheim happened from the 8th through the 19th of January 1945. Also happening in January of 45, the U.S. 6th Army lands in the Philippines. On the 1st of April 1945, American forces land on Okinawa in Japan. On the 8th of May 1945, victory in Europe, Germany surrenders. And on the 2nd of September 1945, victory over Japan. The Japanese surrender takes place aboard the USS Missouri in Tokyo Bay. As we know, the U.S. Army has been in other battles and peacekeeping operations since 1945. For our purpose in the museum, we are keeping with our own timeline. We always need to look back and see where we have come from to better see how things happened. As a reminder, your support is vital to our organization, so please like and share our content and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are a teaching museum first and foremost, so if we can help you in any way, please email us. Thank you again for your continued support, and we look forward to next time.